the company behind China's military robo-wolf quadrupeds, is now unleashing its humanoid robots into the workforce. Hangzhou-based Wuba Intelligent Technology has maintained a relatively low profile, even as its robotic dogs have become synonymous with the People's Liberation Army's robot arsenal. Backed by China Ordnance Equipment Group, a state-owned defense conglomerate, Wuba was launched in February 2022 with around $42 million in registered capital. It's led by founder Cheng Peng, a Zhejiang University-trained engineer who previously worked in defense and aerospace research. The company, also known as 58 Intelligent Tech, announced in October 2025 that it had raised around $70 million to accelerate production of its robots. It operates out of the same city as Chinese robotics leaders Deep Robotics and Unitree, whose quadruped and biped robots have soared in popularity in recent years thanks to their relatively low entry prices. Wuba differentiates itself by openly supporting defense use cases. Its robo-wolves made their public debut in November 2024 during Airshow China in Zhihua. The People's Liberation Army showcased them during its September 2025 Victory Day Parade, perched on armored vehicles. Wuba's four-legged robots have also been deployed for police patrols, industrial inspections, and tactical security. By 2024, the robotics firm reported almost $10 million in revenue and accumulated 38 patents. Chinese state media reports indicate that Wuba began developing its flagship humanoid robot in 2023, as Beijing made it national policy to mass-produce humanoids by 2025 and to own the market by 2027. The People's Republic is well past its initial goal of manufacturing 10,000 humanoids by year's end, with some reports suggesting that more than 30,000 have been shipped. Firms that claim they've begun mass-producing industrial humanoids include Shenzhen Dobit, Shanghai Kepler, UB Tech Robotics, and Ajibot, which just announced it shipped 5,000 units this year. The U.S. robotics sector is stepping up efforts to compete with China in humanoids, and President Trump is reportedly considering executive action to accelerate that push. Well-backed firms like Tesla, Figure, Boston Dynamics, and Aptronic are racing to commercialize their humanoids. But Agility Robotics is the only American firm that started meaningful production and deployment. The Oregon-based startup just announced a new commercial agreement with e-commerce giant Mercado Libra to deploy its digit humanoids in a San Antonio fulfillment center. The robots will automate repetitive logistics tasks and potentially expand into other facilities across Latin America. Agility has a new U.S. competitor in Silicon Valley-based 1X Technologies, which is expanding its focus to industrial and logistics applications as it prepares to start shipping its neo-humanoids for homes in 2026. The startup, which was founded in Norway in 2014 and is now headquartered in Palo Alto, has entered an agreement with one of its key investors, the Swedish private equity giant EQT, to make up to 10,000 of its humanoids available to its 300-plus portfolio companies by 2030. Wuba's full-sized humanoid is the Da Shang D12. Its name translates to Great Sage Equal to Heaven, the title belonging to Sun Wukong, the monkey king from the classic Chinese tale, Journey to the West. The Great Sage, conceived during 16th century Ming Dynasty, is one of the most iconic figures in Chinese mythology. It got renewed international attention in 2024 from the blockbuster video game Black Myth Wukong, developed by the Hangzhou company Game Science. The Monkey King is a warrior who can run and leap at impossible speeds, wield tools with precision, adapt to any opponent, and operate freely in worlds built for humans and gods alike. Standing 1.7 meters, or 5 feet 7 inches, the robotic Great Sage weighs about 55 kilos or 121 pounds and boasts a reported 42 degrees of freedom. Detailed specs haven't been publicized, but the company says it's powered by its self-developed actuators and reinforcement learning motion control. During the 2025 China Police Show in Beijing, Wuba exhibited what it calls a human vehicle weapon dog machine minimal combat unit. The system is intended for complex settings like border regions. 
In an early pilot, Wuba's humanoids took on jobs previously handled by human interns like barcode scanning, labeling, and material handling at a Changhong electronics plant. Wuba is also accelerating the production of its next-gen robotic dog called the Skywolf. A marketing video shows the quadruped sprinting over 15 kilometers or 9 miles per hour, climbing rough terrain, and showing off acrobatic capabilities. Wuba's quadrupeds are modular platform that can be outfitted with custom sensors and lethal and non-lethal payloads. According to Chinese reports, the company and its partners have arranged capacity for up to 20,000 units per year and have completed more than $14 million worth of deliveries across safety and industrial segments. Wuba hasn't publicly disclosed pricing, but another Chinese firm, Shenzhen's Engine AI, is selling its new Terminator-inspired humanoid starting around $25,000. For a closer look at the T-800 and the unusual lengths its developers are taking to prove it's real, check the related video.